up guys today i'm going to go through the editing process on this effect so if you shoot yourself walking backwards with another moving object in the shot and then reverse it you get this really cool illusion where you're walking forwards and then the object uh, we use a smoke bomb is going backwards in time and we also shot this in front of a waterfall and that turned out really cool as well so there's quite a lot of possibilities to this effect you just have to find the right situation and the right location to do it in so now i'm just going to go through my raw video clip and look for a good part to use for this effect and i really want to show the walking as well as the smoke bomb that we used in the same shot on this close-up so i found a nice part of this clip that i want to use and the first thing i need to do is to reverse it so to do that what i'm going to do is select my video clip go here to the speed uh, wheel icon click that and then go to reverse clip so now the model is walking forwards and the smoke bomb is in reverse so it's been like sucked into the smoke bomb and it looks really cool the next thing i want to do is slow this down i filmed it in 120 frames per second so on a 24p timeline I can slow it down to 20% and it will be super smooth. So I normally just use the automatic speed selection and this will automatically slow the video clip down to the slowest it can go uh, so that it's smooth. And now I'm gonna stabilize it. I shot this handheld, select the video clip, go over here to the parameters and go down to stabilization. I'm going to select that. There's two modes for stabilization. You have inertia cam or smooth cam. I usually just try both and see which turns out smoothest. Inertia cam seems to work pretty well on handheld and I don't want it super smooth. So I'm just gonna put this down to 0.1. Every video clip's different. So it just takes trial and error to uh, smooth it out. So that's looking pretty good now. Unfortunately, it was quite a windy day. So the smoke was blowing to one side of the frame ideally it would have been cool if the smoke was sort of surrounding the model and with the wind going to one side i really should have framed the model on the right hand side of the screen so that the smoke filled the other side of the screen i think the shot would look a lot, a lot better then but it still looks pretty cool okay so now i'm going to do a bit of color grading i'm going to go to my titles and add an adjustment layer This will allow me to add effects and color grading to this adjustment layer without affecting the video clip underneath. So I can easily just turn it on and off and apply the effects and grade to multiple video clips. I'll leave the link to this plugin down below. It doesn't come with Final Cut Pro, uh, but it's a free plugin that you can download. So then I'm gonna go to my effects and go to color, and I'm gonna add the custom LUT effect and before I add a LUT, which is basically a preset color grade, what I'm going to do is select my video clip, uh, go to a part where there's a good mixture of highlights and shadows in the video clip. And then I'm gonna to go to modify and balance color. This is gonna sort of automatically uh, color grade the video clip for me to a pretty good standard. It's gonna fix the white balance. And then I'm gonna go back to my adjustment layer I'm gonna to go to my custom LUT effect and I'm gonna use one of my presets. I'll leave the link down below to my color grading presets if you uh, would like to get them. So I've been using this A12 quite a lot and it brings out uh, the teal and orange sort of grade. It's a bit too strong on this clip so I'm just going to bring it down. And that looks pretty good. I want to boost the color of this uh, smoke bomb. I think we use like an orange smoke bomb but for some reason, it wasn't as colorful as some I've used before. I've used like a green one before and it really stands out from the rest of the image so you can tweak it. But what we can do is like kind of boost the oranges uh, to try and bring out more color from it. On my adjustment layer, what I'm gonna do is go up to my color board and go to hue and saturations curve. This is where I can mess with the colors. Go down to this one. I can pick my oranges and boost the saturation on those. And there we go, that's pretty much all I wanted to do to this video clip. Uh, it doesn't take much editing to do this effect, it's more about the filming side of it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one and I'll see you in the next video.